Hello and welcome to our beginner series for V-Ray for SketchUp designed to help you get started with the product and start rendering in no time. In this video, we're going to explore how to get your projects ready for the final rendering and optimize them for your needs. Take a moment to download our project files linked in the video description so you can play with the scene in your own time. All right, let's get started. If you've been following our series, you'll remember we've already discussed some of these settings, like the hardware ones. By default, V-Ray will use your computer's CPU for rendering, but if you have a powerful graphics card, you can choose the CUDA option, and you can choose which GPUs you want to use for rendering. You can even use your CPU along with the GPUs to maximize your hardware resources. However, if you have an RTX graphics card, you can opt for the RTX option. For now, let's stick with the CPU option. In the next row, you'll see a toggle marked Progressive, which is on by default. This relates to the way that the image will be rendered. Let's start a production render to understand what this means. So far, we've been doing interactive renders by clicking on the teapot icon with the play button. To start a production render, we need to choose the other option from the drop-down menu or from the V-Ray render toolbar. Let's start the render. You'll notice that the image is rendered progressively, which can be quite handy in many situations. For example, you can stop the render at any point if you're happy with the quality or if you spot a mistake early on. If you disable the progressive option, V-Ray will use a bucket sampling method to render the image. This means that the image will be rendered in sections or buckets, moving to the next bucket once a section is done. The image is now rendered, but you might see some noise, especially around the windows. Let's find out how to enhance the render quality. As you can see, there's a quality slider that you can adjust easily. Remember that increasing the quality by moving the slider to the right usually means longer render times. While you're working on the image, you can keep the quality lower for faster results, but you might want to switch to high quality for the final image. Another feature that can help us reduce the noise and sometimes save time by setting a lower quality is the denoiser. As the name implies, it eliminates noise from our renders. From the drop-down menu, you can choose which denoiser you want to use. Denoisers are great for interactive renders because they're very fast. The V-Ray denoiser is better for final renders and animations because it's more precise. The Update Effects option controls how frequently the post effect, like the denoiser, will update during the progressive render. Rapid means it'll update the image frequently, while End means it'll apply the denoiser only after the render is done. Let's leave it as is for now since we're rendering with buckets, and the denoiser will apply once the render is done. Moving on, the Render Output tab controls the resolution and saving options. Here, you can manually increase the resolution keeping the aspect ratio, or choose one from the presets in the drop-down menu. You can also set the image to be automatically saved once the rendering is done. If you plan on doing heavy post-production, you can choose to save it in EXR format. If you don't have such plans, you can save it as a JPEG. If you want the flexibility to stop the render midway and then resume it from where you left, or to save the render progress in case of power failures, you can enable the Resumable Rendering option. Let's save and start the render. Pay attention to which part of the render is already complete. If anything goes wrong, say a power outage, you can simply open the SketchUp model again, click Render, and V-Ray will continue the rendering as if there was never any interruption. But what if you want to do something else on your computer while the image is rendering? Or what if you want to render multiple images at the same time? You can use Chaos Cloud, a one-click solution for cloud rendering. We can still render with buckets, but if you want to limit the resources you're using, enable the progressive render. Click on the cloud icon to send your project to the cloud. From there, you can create a project for the render or leave it as default. Make sure to check if the resolution and file format are okay before rendering. I'll also set a credit limit to one to ensure we're not using too many resources for this image. Click Submit. Now our image is rendering in the cloud and we can watch it in real time on our computer, tablet, or smartphone. Remember we switched to progressive render before uploading the project to the cloud. This is because once we reach our credit limit, one in our case, the render will stop. If it's set to buckets, the image might not be fully rendered. Thanks for staying with me till the end. By now, you should know how to prep your models for rendering. Make sure to check out the other videos in our beginner series 
or have a look at our blog and documentation for more product tips and tricks. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. See you soon.